What's up everybody, Pump and Jump here. So this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, edit loops and sound trap. So I'll teach you how to do that now. Okay. First what you want to do is you can either make your own loop or you can get in loops from the loop samples. Now just to make it so the video is not going to be as long, I'm just going to get one of the loops in here. And what you want to do, so if you're just going to select this one, Not a very cool loop at all. So if you just select that there, might turn it up a bit. So it won't sound very good because this is playing my speaker on my laptop audio, so it'll sound really weird. But so if you want to just select that loop, but you don't really like that loop that much, what you can do is you can press this little icon here and see how it says this here. You can actually change the style to fit your style, what you like. And so if you still don't like that, you can just continuously change it. Now I'll be back once um, I'll find what style I like. That one doesn't sound too bad. So now what I'll do is you can mess around with these knobs. Okay, that sounds okay. I'm gonna say. I'm going to turn all of these down to see what each little sound it does. So I'll do that. You always keep this here because this is the overall. Okay. Hmm. See how that changed that time. Sometimes I'll have major changes, sometimes I won't. But these will definitely do changes. Um, you can add these ones in if you want. See? That's pretty much how you edit that, so if I'm going to keep this all, say, after my bass drop when it hits to the calm bit, so first of all, what I want to do is I'm going to make a starting beat, so, so if I want to just choose this beat, if I just want to choose one of these, I'm not going to choose that one. So if I want to choose this beat, all right, I'll chuck that in. You 
also change this sheet. It just depends what you want to do. But I'm going to keep it to the basic one for this for now. But I always recommend choosing this here to edit. Also, what you can do to make it easy, you can just select this, and we'll just put that on repeat for you. So if I just want to do that. Now I got that thing. Um, I do my favorite thing. There you go. I just want to do that nice, basic, simple, and easy. And then, how long did it go? I've done seven minutes so far. That's taken a little bit of a while. Luckily, I didn't go on too much depth. But, um, yeah, let's just go here. Let's say we just want to choose this type of base drop and make it a little bit more hard hitting. some weird effects so I'm just gonna probably just chuck in some random ones for now and see how it sounds. gonna chuck it and see if I wanna chuck in a kick. This might take a while to edit, so I'll just eat. Thank <laughs> you. 
me back once I get this right. I've decided that loop just did not work, so I changed it. Yeah, that's gone pretty well. Okay, we'll just edit that kick for a bit. Now we just need to make this fit. Um, you can do this by putting effects in. Um, Let's see if we can get that back. Okay. So I'm probably going to just do a long sweep. Probably just move this away. going back guys um so now what we what we'll do in this instance is we will switch the 
beat, so then it will kind of do this sweep up, sweep down effect. So we want us to then try to line up the medium with this uh, line word I just put in. So we'll try that. So that's what we want to do. Um, this is not working out well, so I'm just gonna, gonna do a quick recording. Um, okay, I just did my quick recording. Um, so this is all it is. That's all it says. So um, I'll bring this now over to where my drop is. Also teach you how to edit when it comes to vocals on the free version of Soundtrap. So what you can do So if I'm not quite to uh, like it that much I can press edit and you can do all these options if you had the proper version, but for this instance, I got a free version, so I'm gonna change the pitch. And like with these ones, you can also do these ones and you can add in all your effects and stuff, so. I'm not going to mess around with that too much more, but it's not 100% perfect. Um, if I was going to make this and release this as a, like a proper song, I would have put in a little bit more effort in. Of course, um, you can't make a song in like 20 minutes, so... So, let's chuck in some more effects for another beat switch. That was trash. Are you okay? Yeah, that needs a bit more work. I reckon we would probably just add in another effect. I'll probably just do one I've already hearted. That would probably be a lot easier. You can also turn it down so the sweep isn't that powerful if you really like. Um, for this instance, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, that's definitely going to have to get turned down, so... We need something else in there, I'm not too sure what. Oh, I, I remember here seeing a good loop, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. 
not quite. We want it short in that. And turn this one down. Oh. Yeah, that's looking good. Now this is it all together. Of course, you need a lot more effects and work into that. That was just a quick one for um, all up. You know, you would have to put in a lot more work if you wanted to make it sound more professional. But that was just like a quick demonstration. Demonstration, and you roughly do it. So that was, that's 28 seconds it took me to make for um, 22 minutes. Um, but yeah.